the gates of hell. First Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 18. Let's hurry up. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. They will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Listen. Wherefore, we would have come to you, even I, Paul, but once again, the gates of hell. Satan personally took it as a responsibility. Satan told all the demons, stand. This Paul, I've noticed this guy is, I mean, this guy is just winning souls and expanding and enlarging the territories of the kingdom. I will hinder him by myself. Listen, when you see people being challenged and confronted, shut your mouth. It's because they have, many of you have not received any confrontation. You think it's just because you are in Christ. It's because you have not done anything striking enough. At least start praying. Pray to a point that it generates fire and see what happens. That's the night somebody will appear to you and say, let me warn you. Your father obeyed us. Your mother obeyed us. Take care and leave. You wake up in the morning and say, what happened? I'm praying and I'm seeing somebody appear. And you think he's backsliding. It's because fire did something in the spirit. The gates of hell. Let me tell you. There are giants in every mountain. Don't let any man fool you. I pity any man of God that wants ministry, wants crowd, wants miracle and will not pray. You are roaming around doing geo or doing president. You will die like a chicken, I tell you. See, let me tell you. Though if you know how desperate Satan is to destroy your life, Satan does not mind if you die after koinonia on your way going. That's when you will appreciate the mercy and the grace of God. Because for one month now, you have not prayed, some of you. And you have traveled and gone everywhere. And yet nothing happened. Just a kai. It's just because I'm in Christ. Ay, 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 ay. A lady prayed in the night. Brothers and sisters, prayed in the night, physically, in the morning, her uncle called her and said, what did you do? Her physical uncle alive. What did you do? I can't remember. He said, be careful. You don't know who you are trying. Let me tell you, gates will not open like that. You want to bring breakthrough? You want barrenness to stop in your family? You want oppression to stop? The cause of poverty to stop? All this, all this tea Christianity will only, the devil will encourage you to keep doing it. But let fire burn upon the altar and you watch reactions from the gate of hell. Oh yes, I tell you, reaction from the gate of hell is not a sign that the victory of Jesus is not there. It's a sign that something you are doing is striking a call. How many of you have finished praying? And you find out that your loved ones start insulting you and there is fight in the house. It's when you finish praying. The day you don't pray, there's joy and peace and love. Even somebody who doesn't like you just loves you. But you take out time and blast in tongues for two hours non-stop. As you step out, they say, look, I've been warning you. And you are saying, what did I do? It's not the person, the gates of hell. Attempting to stop you. You tell that man, no, I won't sleep with you. I'm going somewhere and see what happens. That's the day somebody will come and tell you, we don't do it like this in Nigeria. Better bend or become a fool. And you sit down and say, truly, Satan is threatened by every communication of zeal towards your destiny. I know what cares Satan. I found out early in life. The moment you say, I am taking a step, I tell you, Satan fears you. It's not everybody Satan is afraid of. There are men who are determined. When you worship God and you say, Lord, in life and in death, Satan says, what do I do with this person? Ah, yeah. 
Whether you pray or not, things are working well. I guarantee you it's because somebody somewhere is praying for you. A day will come, God will wake and say, Mr. Man, there are still other sinners getting born again. Your tenure of, of cheap playing Christianity has been expired. I say, it doesn't really matter. Oh God, I thank you. I love you. You are my king. You died. You've done everything. You will, you will waste like a chicken. Especially, take what I'm saying serious. I'm not playing games. There is the gate of hell. It will meet you on the road to your job. It will meet you when you are about to give birth. One of our ladies just put to bed. Annie, worship team. Bouncing baby boy. Hallelujah. At a point they were talking stories here and there. And she said she had a dream. And she saw me. I thank God for using my face as a communication of victory and seriousness in the spirit. No, I say it with, with all you. If you see me in your dream, before this, hear what I'm saying, before you carry newspaper around and say, you are, you are programming all of that. Let me tell you, some of you are not serious with your destiny. Even you, you know you are not serious. That's why the gate of hell will pass you. You say, what of me? They say, no, 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 you are not an issue. There is somebody we are looking for. Listen, may your life not be so cold that the gate of hell ignores you. You would think it's spiritual growth, but it's a sign of being so inert in the spirit. You are not striking any chord. When the devil wants to destroy your parents, he comes freely. No resistance whatsoever. You snore in demons, come in, do what they do, and they, and they, they come out and you wake up. I refuse my life to be like that. For as long as I am alive, the devil will know that I love the Lord and I will stake my life to see his kingdom come. Are you getting what I'm saying? Do you know there are some of you the covering of your prayer that is keeping your family? Make no mistakes about it. They are criticizing you and you don't know why. It's a reaction. Don't stop. That's the time to stay. After they do all of that, you find a corner. Kapo katalabataya. Ay, 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 ay. You know how kings reign. Come on. You know how they reign. Don't stand outside behaving like a fool. You lock yourself. Manta protokosaya. Fire is rising everywhere in the spirit. And the gates of hell are saying, Here he comes again. May they know your name. He said, Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. Joshua Selman, I know. They will know you and know your tongues. Once they hear it, they say, Here he comes. Shekete katababa, manta protokaya, tongues that have grown with pain, tongues that have grown with sacrifice. The gates of hell will fight anything they can fight in your life. Please be aware of it. You may be as beautiful as the sun. You will watch men pass you like this. That's when it will occur to you that the God of this world can blind people's eyes. Hallelujah. One day in my life, fridge fell on my head. The devil wanted to destroy my life. Yet, by the mercy of God, I've said with you some of don't think I'm playing games. That's why, if, listen, when the devil was doing that, he saw the word I'm giving you. It, it's not just because of Joshua Selman. When they looked at the womb of her that was with child, they said they saw two nations, not two people. There are some of you, the, the arsenals of hell rising against you doesn't even have anything to do with you as in you. is what you represent. Backslide and see how the devil just leaves you. And upon this rock, If you travel up and down and come back safe, it's not luck. There is a law of life. If you don't know it, you will keep being afraid for the rest of your life. Tomorrow we are going to a bomb shore. Praise the Lord. To go and invade and set fire. It's fire all the way, brothers and sisters. Mm. So break every chain. Break every chain. May your appearance be the threat of hell in any territory. That when you show up, come on. Look, 
there are some of you the reason why god will insist that you marry somebody is because he's taking himself to that family he packaged himself to you and he's saying go there and you enter that family and you just discern the spiritual atmosphere and see chains that have kept people and say for introduction welcome note Zekete katataba, manta pratosketa, emprotoskete kelepata, zekete lekotopa. Lift up your head, all ye gates. That's introduction. But why has your life not passed this kind of threats to the gates of hell? Hallelujah. Moses threatened the devil when he died Satan took his body his dead body they were fighting over his dead body Satan said he's dead I still want it because if he resurrects I, I rather carry it and keep it and make sure nothing happens the dead body of a man Elisha died and his dead body still brought somebody back to life But the beautiful part is that Luke 10, 19. He said, Behold, see, I have given you. Whether you know how to access it or not, it's not the issue. But I have given you. He said, Behold, when the Bible tells you behold, it means see, conceive what I'm saying as a reality in your spirit. It's not just open your eyes and see. You are already seeing. You are not blind. Behold, man takata yabada. I give you. I, give, I confer upon you. Power to tread upon serpents, scorpions, and over how many? All the powers of the enemy. The word power there is the word exousia, authority. I give it to you, Joshua Selman, because you will need it. You will never be able to advance Koinonia without that power. There are gates that will rise. There are gates over Saria. Don't think this crowd gathering outside is just because Satan was asleep. There is a force. We know where we do it. When the prayer band comes together on Tuesday, as they lift their voice, something is happening. And while you are there in your room, some chains just break. And you say, let me go for Koinonia today. And something wants to keep you. But God will say, come, come, come. Listen. Please let me submit to you in all sincerity. If your prayer life is dead, use this meeting to jack it back to life. I'm not playing games. This is not an issue of I'm calling to the ministry of prayer. Nobody is calling to any ministry of prayer. I say everybody is calling to the ministry that will make Jesus come. The advancement of the kingdom. He didn't tell some, let me teach you how to pray. The rest go fishing. He was talking to everybody. You see the importance of prayer. If you are not told this, let me tell you. What I'm doing to you is imparting the spirit of prayer and supplication. If I don't give you a reason to pray, you will never pray. All these lazy things people do around. And let me tell you something. A big secret. See, explore the mystery of night prayers. We'll, we'll soon do when there is a series on that. The mystery of night prayers. When all the noise and all the things that, that stop unnecessary angelic activities because of disobedience, those people are asleep. And you are praying. You are just worshiping, putting worship like this. That's why it's good to be rich. Create a prayer garden in your house. Put flowers. Put the portrait of Jesus. Remove every nonsense that Nigeria has put in your head and you put it and you wake up in the night. You carry your notebook where you are trusting God for direction for the next level. You carry your Bible. You carry your recorder. This is what I do. This is what I do. I put heavy worship for hours. And while that is happening, I'm lying down flat with notebooks. Oh Lord, this land is opening up. God said, don't go anywhere. Stay in one place. Say, thank you Jesus for saving me. I would have made a fool out of myself. And God says, I want to do more, son. 
you are limiting me you are limiting me expand your capacity thank god for what you have seen in koinonia but it's only little and i say lord supply the grace and that heavy shakina comes Shakatata. i lie down there i sleep and i wake up i sleep and i wake up the body is tired i say sleep there i'm not going anywhere that's what you do on your bed you lie down and then you hear phone and you sleep off that is is a basic level of spiritual growth the spiritual growth that is a reflection of laziness you don't write your exams on your bed and say bring my exam paper no matter what the rain is you get up please are you getting blessed i'm trying to impart some level of seriousness in us because this is how the great will reign the gates of hell everybody say i have authority when i read this scripture years ago it made me afraid there are two words in this whole thing that makes me fear god not behold not power not all by any means or any means what does by any means mean to you is the part of scripture you understand that to open up when the bible says nothing shall by any means it's a double confirmation so in case anything happens and I didn't pray, Satan will still not use it as a yardstick because the revelation of by any means is at work in my life. By any means. Whether by means of my ignorance or carelessness, that scripture still fortifies me while God is trying to restore me. Are you getting what I'm saying? If you only believe in the power, that's what you see. If you believe the by any means part, that's why some of you were almost sleeping with one lady one day. You two, you don't know what happened. Right? Never brought light or something. That's the power of God working. Don't, don't just laugh. Come on. You know I will talk to you. Right? Or you were planning to go somewhere and rain fell without cloud by any means. Keeping you. I want you to realize that you truly have authority. Now, whether you have received it, it's one thing for me to give you this. It's another thing for you to receive it. And it is yet another thing to know how to use it. Are you getting me? Whether or not you refuse it, it does not mean I did not give you. He said, I give you authority. Thank you for watching this powerful video. I believe your soul, spirit, and body has been mightily blessed, revived, stirred up, geared, and set for transformation. I would like you to please stay tuned on Reflector Hub TV and get more blessed. I also like you to click on the subscribe button and also strike the notification bell so you could stay in touch and always updated with our daily posts. Remain blessed. God bless you.